do you remember Captain Ron brought this over? Asked me to work on it. So he said it's missing the plugs. The, the smaller plug that plugs onto the coil. This was the coil, I believe this was on the 60, and it was no good. So looky here. All right, so this is all wired up. Then I need to wire up the kill switch, but the kill switch he's got in there, the thing looks brand new. It's got like five different connectors on it, and I just tested it for continuity and it doesn't work. So let's um, do the compression test. I'm just curious. Also, I wanted to do it just to compare his tester to mine because they're not all going to read the same. We'll see what we got here. So I've got 110. So he, I think he said 80 or 90. Let's show the bottom one. Identical, 110, perfect match, wow. So, like I said, the, you know, you're not gonna find two compression testers exactly the same. So I found a little switch. See if I can get this in. The idle stop screw is missing, but it's a whole mechanism. And you can see it says, you know, low, fast, slow, fast, I mean. And there's a dial that goes in there, and there's a whole contraption that goes in there. What I usually do is just put a big bolt in here and stop this damn thing from going all the way down. This is like the quickest, easiest, simplest type of design. You know, all you're doing is stopping this linkage. You know, there's your full throttle, then you come around here, boom, it hits. I put a spark plug boot on there, cut cut half of it off. So this way I have some room to adjust it if I need to. And like I said, this is just, just a quick, easy, bing, bang, boom, idle stop. It's not glamorous, it's not pretty, but it'll work. Now you can get, you know, more creative and, and really do something nice. But for what I had on hand, just throw it in there. Boom, boom, ding, 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 ding. All right, baby, it's this old Alcor, the 1977 15-horse Devin Rue. And she's in pretty good shape. Get back on it today. Things got backed up. Another freaking mess in here with the plumbing and a big leak tore the whole shower out the whole nine yards pain in the boot anyway we back on it baby ooh, 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 ooh. it's almost ready i just got to do some fuel lines got the pump captain Ron brought me a pump and the silence there and what else we got here? Yeah. Brand new propeller. That'd be nice on there. That one's a little beat up. It's a lot beat up. He couldn't remember if he'd put a new fuel or a new uh, water pump in here. We'll check that out last. And we'll fire this puppy up. All right, baby, few lines in. The other thing that's bugging me is this choke lever it's missing the guide or it's too long you pull it out it's pretty good but it shouldn't be like that and you push it in and it's hitting if it don't hit there it'll hit there and I don't know what to do about it I've got a shorter one but I still think it needs a guide then these freaking spark plug wires a little bit on the front side too long. I guess I just have to route them. I had them looped down before, but since I put the fuel line in down there, there's no room down there anymore. And they just don't fit that great. 
See, it's just... I can feel it clipping in, but then it's not really holding well. No, it's being pushed back out. I think they need to be trimmed. You know, the boot needs to be shorter. A little bit off the top, sir. Yeah, I'll be hacking and coughing from that damn bug spray all day. Now it's on there. I'm going to have to reroute these things or something. There's no hangers or anything for them. Boy, it's on there now. Maybe a little zippy tie up there. I think that'll work. Throw a little zip tie on it. Let's see if the hood's gonna fit. Oh yeah. No problem. Fits. All right. So let's throw a little zip tie on there, and then the silencer. Let's take this knob off. Let me get it set back where he had it, which I don't even know where that is. Let's see if this puppy will slide in there without the knob. Hell yes. So, let's see if I remember. These are little shorty flathead. You know what? Let me clean this thing. It looks a little bit dirty. Alright, I think that's clean enough. Let's see if I find them screws. Alright, what else is left? I probably should have checked that damn car, but I think he would have had it at one and a half turns out, somewhere around there. We'll find out. Alright, that should be it, right? Everything is, is there, hooked up. Alright, the water is on. Filling her up. Ram it up, baby. Let's see if we got any leaks. Get car. Uh oh. Nope, feels good. I don't see nothing. I should have checked that carb setting first, but what the hell? Choke. At start position, pumped up. Boy, this thing is low. Ooh, 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 ooh. Second pull. Probably don't need no more choke. Ah. Huh. Sound like she was gonna go. Hmm. Did it flood that fast? I can put my drill on there, but that drill, I don't think it's going to spin it. If you've seen that drill, it spin it without the plugs, but with the plugs, barely. it won't do a 25, I know that. Before I do that, pull the plug, see if it's wet. If she's a wet, then she got it too much again. Bone dry. Now this plug's been fired before. But he said he's never started this thing. I don't know if these came in it. Or what. So bone dry. So we'll go back to choking her. Prime this up again. Yeah, it took a half a squeeze. Chokey wokey. See, this thing, the choke isn't closing all the way. The spring from the choke is pushing this back. Now it's closed. That could be a problem. See, it keeps, it's going up by itself. It's not holding choke. Let me try the drill. Oh, it's going to turn it. Wow, it 
look, I just pulled this thing right out. Son of a bitch. Give it some more throttle. So pump's not pumping. She's getting a little bit warm, but not hot enough to do anything. Other problem, all that play. See all that? When you bring this thing down, and then there's that play, it wants to just keep drifting because of the play, which is in the linkage here. Uh, water pump not pumping. Could be the hose might be clogged. Quick idea. It's got the little P tube thing on the end. So I can't poke anything up in there, but I can try to suck it out with the vacuum if it's clogged. She sounded good though. <laughs> I'm telling you, you can't beat these little motors, man. I didn't see any water dripping out. Uh, let's try it again. It's not hot. It's getting there. Let's see if she'll fire back up real quick. Let's start position. Yeah, baby. See, when I barely turn the handle, to try to just bring it out of start position, the whole thing just drifts because of the, all the play. So, and I'm not getting anything out of that carb. Let me try something here all the way. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep pulling this off. Let's see where this thing is set. Might not be doing anything because it's not set. All right. There's a good full turn. Easy one and a half. Come on, baby. Damn. So that was about two turns out. Maybe even more. Get in there. There's almost one. You got the little stop there, so it's hard to get it exactly. But we'll do it. We'll go past it a little bit. So about right there, it'd be like one and a half ish. And we'll 
put this right back in the metal. Boom. Start position. that far that far the roller traveled down that far to just past the mark I can take this off and show it to you that's how much play is in this thing I'm trying to remember on this style how in the hell you get that out It's the same setup, it's just inside, not on the outside. This is this is turning nicely with the handle. This rod. May have a little bit of slop in it. Yeah, that rod there has a little slop in it. That's where it's at. It's at that rod. I wonder if I could put a pin in it like I did on the, you know, the gears. I did that video about how to fix these damn gears. Alright, so we'll have to take care of that. The water pump. That's a damn shame, too. See this all this play? Now when I bring it up, throttle it up, and let go, and then and then go try to go back to, to idle speed, the whole thing. If I can get it move. See all that? <laughs> That's a lot of play. I think you can see over here. Watch that damn plate. That's too much play. I mean, it's just traveling. And it's stopping. It's stopping right at the... right behind the, the mark on the cam. If I turn the throttle, I'm, I'm below the cam mark. If I turn the throttle, she starts to move all the way to full throttle, come back, and boom, all that play, and it just vibrates itself right back down. All right, she runs, she sounds good. Carb set at one and a half, can be dialed in. Just gotta get to put, you know, I didn't even notice, was any water even coming out that time? Kinda doubt it. But let's see, after I did the vacuum thing on it. It should start down that far. I'm not quite at, at, at start position, but it should be warmed up enough to start. Yeah. Plus the carb was readjusted. See how, see, let's see how far that moved. 
I just barely turned the handle and the whole thing went. And I still didn't notice if any water was coming out. <laughs> but I don't think it was. Now that's way down, way past the marks or the single mark on this motor. Let's see if it will start way down there. No, it's got to be up on the timing. So, just right, just a hair off the, the mark on the cam. And it vibrated, moved a little bit, not much. Now see if I if I uh, throttle up and don't touch the, the throttle again, it should stay right there. It really needs to all all be adjusted. It just drifts. All right, she runs. She needs to be tweaked in, water pump done, and, and adjusted. Sounds good too, man, God. Sounds real good. All right, we'll get her done. Oh yeah, baby.